joined by Lago Rita Shepherd, Raul Martinez. We're gonna see a good matchup oh, here. Wow. In the red corner, Debra Shepherd. She's seven and one, 33 years old, 152 pounds. On the other side, in the blue corner, Carla Rendon. Three and four is her record. 27 years old and 165 pounds. In the ring, Art working right there as you see Shepard. She's going to be in the black trunks with the white trim. On the other side, Rendon is going to be in the all blue trunks with the blue shirt. So this is always interesting, always fun, when you get to see the, the women's bounce. Starting with the flurry there is Shepard. Shepard trying to use her length to keep her going out of it. And Red Doors been doing a pretty good job so far of getting in and, and making something big happen. Yeah, Red Doors trying to get in. Getting close, she's a shorter fighter. She's trying to get in and throw that, that, that straight right hand with that left hook right behind it. And she's landed a few already. And that's something that's gonna get him Shepard to the ropes. It's something that's really gonna benefit Red Dog here. It's gonna kind of take away her, her power and ability to really pull back. Yeah, when, when you're fighting a tall fighter, of course you gotta get in, but uh, you, you, you just don't see that. On the, on the thinner fighter, you don't think they have that power, but when they hit you, with their punch extended right at the end of the punch, you feel all their power, so you can get hurt. So you gotta try to get in and uh, get their get their high, get that height advantage out of the, out of the window. You know, get it out of there. You be the aggressor. Get the, get that. Get your opponent on the ropes, and that's what uh, Carla is doing. She's trying to get in there, muscle her way in, and land those nice hard uh, body shots. And you can definitely see so far Rendon has been the aggressor in this, really pushing the, the envelope, making something happen, at least trying to so far. There you got Shepard snapping that jab, trying to keep that going with the punches. Once she's in, you know, she can't really throw too much. Carla is, is, is digging those body shots. And that's the kind of thing that you'll feel here. In a, <laughs> you'll definitely feel those tomorrow, those body shots. And I'm pretty sure you'll feel them in that next round as you're coming back in. Oh, yeah. They, they take that, that, the wind out of you. And you can see Rendon is just attacking the body. Getting inside, ducking her head, trying to make something happen. Shepard's doing a good job of trying to keep her at bay, measure out with that with that left jab, bringing that right hand with power. That was a good combination by Shepard. She, she threw a few jabs. Carla came in and she countered her with a few shots. And Shepard's been showing a, uh, some good agility there. You can see Rendon miss a handful of times after an exchange. Rendon's got her up on the ropes. And Shepard's able to slip right out of it. Throw some hard shots, you can hear them. I don't want to be at the end of those punches. Now, when you're when you're fighting somebody this much taller than you, Raul, what, what kind of strategy are, are you going with, and, and how are you trying to work them? It's a lot, it's like I said earlier, it's a lot of head movement. You gotta, you gotta take their height away. Get inside, get inside of those long jabs that that, uh, that Shepard is throwing, and that's what Carla is doing. She's doing a pretty good job. But, uh, Shepard, at the same time, is, is catching her with some good combinations at the end. Chris Quinn so if you're you're sitting there talking with Shepard right now, you're in her corner. What are you telling her to do? Keep throwing that jab. Keep throwing that jab. Follow up with that. With that right hand right behind that. Hang it up. You know, you know your point is your jab. They, they don't see that, that right hand coming at, and that's what she's doing. And keep keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep throwing that long jab. And right there, you see her on the highlight, and she's catching her at the end of the punches. And uh, her dog, she has to keep doing it. You know, same thing. They're both fighting really good. It's a toss up. Uh, Rondon needs to keep, keep her uh, game plan going, get in their head movement, hit that body, hit that head. 
And as we've seen tonight, a lot of times the aggressor in this fight is going to be the one that walks away with it. Not every time, but a lot of times when you're aggressive, when you're working it a lot better, when you're throwing more punches, you're going to walk off with the win here. Yeah, that's what I said. you, you got to be aggressive, but you got to be smart at the same time. And here at this level, they're going with the minute and a half rounds as we're here in round two. They're done doing a pretty good job in blocking those punches. Nice little jab there, a little straight left by Shepard as Rendon pulls her way back into the corner off the ropes. A handful of body shots there. Rendon lands that left right in above the hip. Shepard trying to left uppercut. What I like about Shepard, she's, she's sticking to the basics, sticking to that hard jab. She oh, throws that double jab with that right hand, or that one, two. Catches that right hand right there, Shepard does. Shepard's probably hoping maybe to catch that uppercut as Rendon comes down on her, and, and uh, you know, she might walk into something that she yep. might not like very much. My little butt. <laughs> Shepard kind of switching it up there, going from the south pole back to the to the standard, the more traditional stance. And what does something like that bring to the table when you go and switch it up from south pole to traditional? I mean, it just depends. I mean, if if. Uh if you're a natural orthodox fighter, I mean, I, I recommend stick to your stance, you know, because you might get caught with with something that you know you don't really usually see coming. Maybe if, if you turn around to the uh, to the southpaw stance, I kind of keep it myself uh, kind of stay to the orthodox, orthodox stance. I don't really recommend it too much, but a lot of fighters do. They switch back and forth. They switch back and forth. So whatever. We're all that woo woo. And a handful of shots thrown cool. there. A little flurry from each each woman in the ring. Definitely been a good one so far. Yeah, you've seen, uh, you've seen Shepard keeping her at the, with the jab, throwing that jab, calling it out there. I think she's just gonna step it in a little more right there. She has some good shots right there. Three good shots right in a row, that one, two, three combination by Shepard. Carla Joy right answered answer back, but she gets caught coming in. And you kind of she see Shepard being able to, to methodically kind of take over this fight here. Yeah, she's taking over this round for sure. Using her height. If I get the hell away from me. They apologize and go to their corners. So third round here, let's take a look at, at Shepard as she worked in this last round. Catching the left hand, right hand, left hand combination. And that's what I like to see about, uh, that's what I like to see in these fights, you know, the, uh, the boxers throwing combination just as you see uh, Shepard throwing. She threw about four or five, six shots at one time. Her record is seven and one. that a trainer wants to see their boxer uh, do in, in a fight. And we had, uh, there you have uh, Carla trying to get in there with the left hooks. She landed a few there. And I think that's what she needs to do this round is uh, keep throwing those left hooks. Use that, that, that hip movement, and that Shepard needs to keep on throwing those nice combinations she's been throwing. What's been interesting is when you see Carla Rendon go up top and take that hook uh, at the head as opposed to going with that body shot, Shepard's been kind of caught off guard because she hasn't been taking a lot of punches to the face from the head area. Yeah, she's moving her chin out there a little too much. Her hands are a little low. Uh, Carla can probably uh, uh, catch her with a nice, solid left hook with uh, if uh, Shepard doesn't put those hands up. Both of them feeling a little bit of that intensity ratcheting up here in that third round, knowing that they need to make something happen and coming out firing. Rendon landing a nice couple of shots right there. And there you have Carla going back to what she was doing in the first round. Working up top again. You can see it's a little hard for Carla since uh, Shepard's so tall. Sure. Yeah. Rendon definitely been more active in the ring tonight with her punches, with her feet, 
really setting a good tempo here in this fight. She got caught with a nice little left right there. Might have stunned her a little bit. Yeah, Kyle is stepping in the ring, trying to find that opening. Throws it in. Two nice jabs there. Did you not see me dance, man? Let's hook up top lanes. She seems to be kind of leading with her right down low and then throwing the left up top. They have Shepard turning southpaw. That is some good, some good shots. And then just like that, switches back. Yep. She needs to be, aware, uh, be careful with uh, having the hand so low. Carlos catching it with some, uh, some left hooks up top. Shepard in these later, these last two rounds has, has been able to do a better job of keeping Rendon at bay a little bit more. Able to counter punch a little better after that first round. Overhand right by Kyla. As I say that, she gets hit twice. Whenever she does, she tries to keep it out there. Rendon now the defensive. They're working their way back inside. Nice left by Rendon. Shepard continues to throw the one two, but she's not stepping in. She needs to step in a little bit more, turn them hips. She's kind of connecting with the gloves, mm -hmm. with Rendon's gloves. Throwing lots of those one twos, but not, not doing much damage with them. Now, when Shepard's been on the offensive a couple of times, she stepped in, and she's done she a lot of damage, like you yeah. can see right there. Yeah, she's, she's landed some good shots when, when, when she's turning the hips, and she turns the leg, she's landing some good shots. Rendon with a nice shot up top with the left. Missing that hook. Shepard catches her with the right. And that'll do it. A monster, man. Huge. Right there. Here in the female middleweight championship. Rendon. Thank you. The presentation. Shepard put on a nice show. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of that last round. Construction company. You can see Rendon trying to go up top. Land some left hands. Get something going. Shepard. Working out of the team Alcozel gym. And then Rendon on the other side, she's working out of Angel's Boxing Club. So, uh, and there you can see Rendon making something happen, hitting Shepard up against the ropes, doing what she could to take away that height advantage, that reach. Look at some more highlights here. Shepard catching that right. With the right hand. Rendon kind of halted it, catching the left hook. Little shadow boxing. Post match. Showing what kind of good shape that they're in. Oh, yeah, you gotta loosen up those muscles. They <laughs> tighten it up. So, uh, when you're an amateur, you're going three rounds. How sore are you gonna be tomorrow morning? Oh, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it, especially um, throwing a lot of punches. You're definitely gonna feel it. And you're gonna. Feel some punches, some 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 knots here and there that you say, wow, you're like, wow, I didn't know I got hit there. <laughs> Lot, lots of Tylenol tonight. <laughs> Maybe I we'll, recommend it. I recommend some ibuprofen before you go to sleep. Maybe a hot shower, a yep. hot bath, uh -huh. and don't wake up until after one or two o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. <laughs> sleep as much as you can. Oh, okay. oh yeah, you don't realize it, but you. you you burn a lot of calories, and uh, you might pull some some muscles in the fight that you don't feel. And your winner, the judges' decision, five and zero. Oh. Your winner in the blue corner, Carlos Rendon. And there you go. We were talking about it early. The aggressive fighter, for the most part, will pick up a win, and that's what we saw. Carlo Rendon takes the female middleweight championship out of Angels Boxing Club. She'll get the nice black jacket. She'll get the brag to her friends, and she'll always have that title of Gold Club Champion. Coming up next, we've got the Novice Middleweight Championship for the guys. You're at...
the Cathedral, the Scottish Rite Cathedral. You're watching the San Antonio Regional Golden Gloves Championships. We'll be right back.